This teacher is from Tennessee, and he was fired after he had a nervous breakdown in his classroom. He actually ended up uh, throwing two chairs, a garbage can, uh, I'm sorry, two tables, a garbage can, and a chair during his 11th grade algebra class. We actually have video of this. One of the students was taking video with uh, his cell phone. So let's watch the video, and I'll give you more details on this story. Another student in my life is shut up. Shut up. <laughs> If you can be absolutely quiet, if you can shut your mouth, you can shut your mouth and you can listen. Do you know why? Because I have the power. I've got the. I got it. Okay, you got it. Yeah. And I know it. Amen. And guess who else knows it? Don't hurt my dear boss. Hey, you know it? 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 Hey, you know To be honest, look, I've looked at that video so many times, and in the beginning, it almost seems like he's joking around with the students because he has like this grin on his face. So I know that if I were in that classroom, I wouldn't necessarily take him that seriously. But then toward the end, he totally flips out and loses it. And you know, some of the students got scared; they got out of the classroom, um, and some of them didn't even uh, go to any of their other classes for the rest of the day because they were so distraught over what happened. Jenk, what are your thoughts on this video? First of all, shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> that was my favorite part of the video, actually. Right. Uh, so now, of course, uh, you know, here I got an idea. If you're a teacher, don't throw stuff at the kids. That's crazy. Don't throw stuff anywhere. It's equally crazy. So, I mean, it's not much of a conversation here. Guilty. Right. Yeah, no, I agree. Guilty, 100%. He's been a teacher for 32 years, and that's the part that really. Interests me the fact that you can be a teacher for so long, or you could work in any profession for so long, and you never know how it's going to end. Like you never know when you're going to flip your shit and it's going to go crazy. You're going to go crazy and lose everything. <laughs> you know what though, Anna? Now that you told me that about the 32 years, not guilty. Really? <laughs> He's been putting up with their bullshit for 32 freaking years, right? Right. He's like, you know what? I had enough of this. <laughs> end of this. <laughs> yeah, he, and he just let it all go. Well, authorities came, of course, and they talked to him, and they said that he suffered a nervous breakdown, and when he was talking to police, he wasn't making much sense. So he was completely out of it. I mean, God, a little part of me does sympathize with him a little bit. First of all, you can't throw chairs. You can't throw anything at kids. That's crazy. But I can understand having a nervous breakdown when you're dealing with unruly kids day in and day out. So part of me feels kind of bad for him. But then, of course, another part of me is like, no, dude, you can't do that. You gotta, you gotta find a better way to manage your emotions when you're in the classroom. Like, if, I, I, you know, I have a solution to this. Then, mm -hmm. um, look, he's got to go, right? I mean, there's got to be something. I don't know if it's fired. I don't know if it's suspension. Whatever. There's obviously has to be consequences. You can't throw stuff like that, right? But the flip side is, man, if if he decides to retire or whatever, give him his pension. 
don't like don't mess with that okay mm -hmm. so in that sense let him go let him go he's done his time man Did, imagine being in that classroom for 32 freaking years you'd lose your mind too